Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Hey Buck Outdoors. Today I'm going to be going over why you need a 22 mag if you're an outdoorsman. Um, for example, I just have some basic CCI loaded with Hornady VMAX moving at about 2200 FPS here. We're going to get into it though. Excuse me if I'm looking down. I'm going to try to keep on my notes to keep on track. Hey Gunner, no, keep away from that. Alrighty, so why do you need a 22 mag if you're an outdoorsman? Well, for one, it has substantially more velocity than 22 LR. So with 22 mag out of a rifle length barrel, you're looking at anywhere from 18 to 2400 FPS, which will get into substantially more foot pounds energy, which we'll get into here in a second. It is more capable of taking small game, uh, rabbits, squirrels, foxes. I would say, I would dare to say with a heavier bullet, maybe even some of this Hornady DV Max. Uh, you could probably take a coyote within 75 yards if you so chose to. For example, this savage that I have right here, unloaded, show you guys that. This savage right here uh, has a 21 inch bull barrel. You're getting some butt naked speeds out of this thing with hot loads, especially 30 to uh, 40 grain loads that are loaded from CCI like the Maxi Mag or this uh, Hornady V Max. So with that, you can probably, you know, I would say take coyotes within 100 yards, ethically. Now, shot placement, all that really matters, but uh, it's up to you. Now, if you're, if you're a good hunt, hunter, a good shot, you could probably do it. Uh, something good about too is the advanced bullet technology. As you can see, these uh, CCI rounds have the like FTX style tip, the VMAX tip. So it's basically, um, something too, they have the critical defense, Hornady does for this particular caliber. So it's like a hollow point or defense round with a polymer tip. So you definitely have more modern ballistic coefficient style uh, spits or projectiles that you don't necessarily get for 22 LR. Now moving on, uh, 22 Magnum produces anywhere from 250 to 330 foot pounds of energy out of a rifle length barrel. So rifle length barrels, anything from 16 to 20 inches. This is a 21 inch, but on the uh, website I was looking, I forget, I might actually put a link to it in the description, uh, the calculation chart. Uh, you're producing most of the lows that are on the market, popular ones from CCI, Hornady, Remington, who else makes them, Aguila, I think. Uh, you're producing anywhere from 250 to 300 foot pounds. To put that into example, a uh, 30, or not 30, special, nine millimeter, uh, a semi-hot load produces around 300 to 350 foot pounds of energy. That's like a defensive load. I don't know how much it F MJ does, but you're looking into like defense around nine millimeter territory, even like dumb down 45 territory. That's the same amount of foot pounds of energy. Obviously though, the uh, same temporary and permanent cavity is gonna be different since it is a smaller projectile, but definitely something to keep in mind. Um, and the good thing about having all that extra foot pounds, that's basically double, if not triple, that of a 22 LR. I know out of a uh, Rigger 1022, you're getting like 100 foot pounds, maybe 125 out of some like CCI uh, mini mags, which is pretty good still for 22, but this stuff really just, you know, knocks it out of the park. And a good thing about 22 Magnum as well is there's no recoil at all. Same thing with the 22 LR. Like if you kick it, you don't even, or Jesus, you shoot it and you won't even feel it. So great for young shooters, great for new shooters. If you're recoil, shy, recoil sensitive, definitely a great round if you want to get into basic hunting, small game hunting. Uh, if you're a trapper and you need something to, uh, you know, put down an animal you trap or whatever, it's a great, great round. And the other good thing is it's relatively inexpensive. I know everything's really expensive right now with the state of things. Uh, just something to show you. I picked this up. It's a 50 round box. More than I'd like to pay, but still not as bad as some places like Gun Broker and all that that charge out the wazoo. This was $22.99. And CCI does make some of the best 22 Magnum ammo out there. Um, so, yeah, I mean, for 50 shots, it's not even 50 cents a round. So, I'd say that's a semi decent deal. We're still not at like 2018, 2019 ammo prices, but still, you're, it's, it's a good deal for what the times are. So that is my reason why you need a 22 mag. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Um, are you a bigger fan of 22, 22 mag? 17 HMR is another good one too. Definitely not dissing that. Uh, good thing about 22 mag compared to 17 HMR, let's say, is you do get that extra weight of the projectile. So it may not be bumped around by the wind as much. Uh, I'd say this is probably effective like a rifle such as this with a 21 inch barrel. It's bull and all that and like good rifling and good quality. With the good optic, you're probably good within 150 yards, um, especially depending on the types of animals you're gonna be taking with this. I would say keep it within 100 if you can help it, if I, conditions are ideal. 
But yeah, that's just my honest thoughts. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and please have a fantastic day.